This is a typical case of upward fixation of patella where MPD was done by closed method in the field. As you can see in the video, animal is facing difficulty in walking. Here the preparation for restraining the animal is being done. As you can see, the ground is prepared before falling the animal on the ground for lateral recommencing. For medial patellar dysmetomy, the animal was well secured and casted in lateral recumbency. The limbs were extended and restrained by the help of ropes as you can see in the video. In MPD, the key point is the identification of the ligament, that is the medial ligament. For MPD, the site is prepared aseptically after shaving and clipping of the hair and application of the bitterdent solution. Now coming to the identification of the ligament, there are three major ligaments that is the medial ligament, the middle ligament and the lateral ligament. For MPD, A that is the medial ligament is incised. Now for identification, the thumb is placed on the tibial tuberosity while the finger is placed on the upper spot of the femoral medial trochlear crust and medium portion is established using the index finger. This point is the medial patellar ligament. Now after proper restraining the animal and avoiding any sudden movement, local anesthesia is administered subcutaneously to the animal. Now, after confirming the exact position of the medial ligament by placing the finger, then with the help of a blade that is 11 number, it is inserted at the depression side and medial ligament is cut. The blade should be placed from lateral to medial direction to prevent accidental incision of the middle ligament which can lead to permanent lameness of the animal. So this should be definitely avoided in all situations. Then the site is drained with antiseptic solution. Bleeding is checked by application of pressure to the site. The limb is flexed 3-4 times to ensure that any remaining shreds of the ligament is detached. Then the ropes are untied and animal is allowed to stand up comfortably.
After empty, animals stood up and walked without showing any sign of lameness or discomfort, thus giving a feeling of relief to the animal as well as the farmer. This operation has given the freedom from discomfort to the animal, which is one of the five freedoms of the farm animal, which is the basic right of the animal. Thus, this is a step in minimizing the negative experience of the animal. Thank you for listening to us.